In July, the government introduced the carbon tax. The carbon tax is the Voldemort of all taxes. Two more cents on your milk. 96% are saying it should be scrapped. The tax hasn't even lasted five days before it's descended into complete chaos. Complete chaos! And the battle began between the taxes supporters. Our carbon tax amongst the countries who have them is pretty reasonable. I can't believe how much scaremongering is around. And its harshest critics. This is the highest carbon tax price in the world. Whether you believe in the tax or not is beside the point. I just think the timing's wrong and the price is wrong. Who's right? Three months on and the results are in. It's going to be a python squeeze rather than a cobra strike. Carbon tax, cobra strike or python squeeze. From tomorrow, every problem we face will get worse under the carbon tax. Every problem. My acne. My hard to solve Rubik's Cube. My ugly son. My grumpy accent from the last sketch. It's, it's worse. worse. Council rates. Your council rates, why the carbon tax could be pushing them even higher. Chalk tops. With the recent increases in electricity prices and potentially the carbon tax, they're looking at axing, selling chop tops. Piles of dirt. His car ploughed head on into a 10 ton pile of dirt. The driver suspects the rubble was dumped there because the carbon tax has increased tip fees. Or worse. Then there's Fairfax. I'm afraid we can't play question time footage of George Brandis on a comedy show on the grounds that it is disrespectful. So instead, we will present George Brandis's quote with all the respect it deserves from a giant talking penis. What is the government's message to the some 1,900 Fairfax media employees whose jobs have been destroyed by its carbon tax? And singing's gotten worse too. No why I'll a wipe out there on my TV. No why I'll a wipe out there on my TV. Even current affairs beat-ups have gotten worse. But you're so worried about your power bill that you're actually not using your oven anymore. Correct. The fridge may have to go. <laughs> I might have to get an S-scheme instead of the fridge. Or you could stop letting TV crews visit your house. You guys got any more PowerPoints? We're making our elderly scared right now. Scared to turn on lights, scared to use the electricity. You sure are. You'll never have a holiday again. You'll never be able to buy new books again. Your life ends. <laughs> and just wait till the future. That's $5,000 less in your pocket by 2050 with a carbon tax than without one. One Astro coffee, please. That'll be $5,000. No worries. <gasps> Damn you, Gillard! Even memories are getting worse. Mikey used this morning the carbon tax. Remember that? Uh, what carbon tax? This carbon tax, Koshy. I just think the timing's wrong. The explodey one. 54% of you simply couldn't give a toss about the carbon price. The carbon tax is so insidious, it's brainwashing people into forgetting how bad it is. 20 complaints isn't exactly the sky falling in, is it? How horrific has the carbon tax been for you? It hasn't really affected me. We've got you too! And no one is immune from this mind manipulation. The initial impact of the carbon tax may not be absolutely catastrophic. What? May not be absolutely catastrophic. Let's play that backwards. Oh, supreme carbon tax, I bow to your almighty powers. The carbon tax. It's not a scare campaign when it's true.